You hear more and more vocabulary related to AI. The words by now sound familiar, but you are not completely sure what those terms actually mean. In this case, the AI lexicon series is what you need. My name is Olena, and in this video we'll cover what is GPT, what does the number of parameters mean, how weights are being open sourced, and what is the difficulty with the context window. As always, all the references are in the description box below. And let's start with the question. What is GPT? GPT stands for Generative Pretrained Transformer. It is a powerful type of artificial intelligence system, a large language model capable of generating text, images, or other media in response to a prompt. Word by word, generative means that it is designed to generate or create something such as text. The pre-trained part means that the model has already been trained on a massive amount of text data or other types of data. It has learned the patterns and structures of language from its training data. This training allows it to have a good understanding of grammar, context and meaning might be still lacking knowledge of the domain you need it for, but at least it can reasonably talk. And the transformer is a specific type of deep learning model architecture that in short allows computers to understand how distant text elements influence and depend on each other. It relies on what is called self-attention to figure out the context of provided information. The attention mechanism of the transformer provides context for any position in the input sequence, and it assigns meaning to words based on their surrounding words. In comparison to older approaches, it doesn't process words one by one separately, but looks at the text as a whole, attempting to understand the relationship between words. Since OpenAI was first to release generative pre-trained transformer back in 2018, the term GPT is often associated closely with the products of OpenAI, which is uh, misleading. Imagine that OpenAI even tried to get a domestic trademark registration for the term GPT in the field of AI, but the request was declined. Uh, that's why you will see plenty of other models not related to OpenAI that have GPT in their names. Or sometimes those types of models are named transformer-based language models, indicating GPT architecture. And in case you are confused about the relation between model and dataset, model is some kind of algorithmic representation or architecture that is designed to learn patterns and make predictions based on input data. It can be thought as a mathematical function that takes in inputs and produces outputs. Model captures the underlying relationship in the data and generalizes that knowledge to make predictions on some new data that it has never seen before. But to do that, it needs some initial input, initial data to learn patterns from, then to validate that it learned correctly and improve its logic to be able to make good predictions. And that is what is data set for, what is good data set for. With that, the data set must be representative of the problem domain and cover a wide range of scenarios to ensure the model that is created based on it is robust. Some models will be trained with the web data, either cleaned or not, others will be trained on some 
synthetic data that might have been generated with the help of existing GPT. And the power of a model depends on the number of parameters, the amount of data that they were trained on, and the type of tasks they can perform. Which moves us to the next question. In the name of models, we often see some numbers like 40B, 560M, 7B. What do they actually mean? These numbers indicate adjustable parameters within the model. Those parameters are the internal variables that the model adjusts during training in order to learn and make predictions. Number of parameters generally determines the model's capacity to capture and generate complex patterns in text and code. A higher number of parameters allows the model to represent a wider range of features and relationships, potentially bringing better language understanding, translation, summarization, and code generation. But it also means that the creation of such a model, or what is called training, needs more computational power and larger datasets, the bigger amount of data that model can learn from. Also, once the model is there in the real life, the bigger it is, the more difficult it is to run it on smaller devices. Next question on my list is how weights are open sourced and are they static? Weights and biases are those parameters of the models. If you think of the human brain and neurons, very roughly speaking, some neurons are connected stronger than others. In AI, we translate that relationship uh, into numbers, and the weights are indicating how strong a connection is between neurons. And bias is the distance between the predicted value and the desired value. And what is important is that both bias and weights are learnable parameters. When a model is trained, it goes through an optimization process where it tries to find the optimal values for its weights and for its biases. And when someone mentions that weights are open source, that means that the set of weights of a trained model is made publicly available for others to use and analyze. Usually in this case, they are typically shared in the form of pre-trained model files or checkpoints. These files contain the numerical values of the weights and other necessary information to reconstruct the model architecture and its learned parameters. It's important to know that weights are not static. They can be modified or fine-tuned after the initial training. For example, a pre-trained model weights can be further trained on a different dataset to adapt the model to a specific task or domain. And this process is known as transfer learning or fine-tuning. Now, a context window is how much a model can remember within a single conversation. How long are the documents it can analyze? How long are the pieces of text it can generate without forgetting the context and forgetting what was generated before? Usually, the context window is measured in tokens. It depends on a taken approach, but in most cases, tokens are parts of words, so they are neither individual characters nor complete words, but some meaningful parts of words one by one. The biggest context window is now in cloud from Anthropic and it has 100k tokens, which is around 75,000 words. 
there is actually a technical difficulty with bigger context windows. Doubling the number of tokens in context window increases the required computational cost actually by four times. So it's not easy and right now there are attempts to find a way uh, to make bigger context windows but make it less expensive. Um, and in a bit of a gossip section, OpenAI mentions that they have a plan to increase the size of the context window dramatically for their chat GPT. That's it for AI lexicon section today. Let me know what other terms you'd like me to cover in the comment section below.